It was at a pretty young age. Um, my dad put the basketball in my hands when I was like a toddler. And we used to have like a little tight hoop where Keegan would just shoot threes all the time. And I would just dunk the ball and, and make Keegan mad. But I think that's when I started to love the game of basketball. I say our development and just our interest in the game of basketball developed at the same time. Um, obviously we're twins, we do a lot of things together. So that was kind of a interest that we both had at a young age and that kind of unraveled. We both grew up playing together. Uh, we both loved being in basketball at a really young age and I think we both started to love the game at the same time too. Murray curls into the paint on Gardner. A shot is up. Good. Curls in. What beautiful body control Keegan Murray has. Inside to Connor McCaffrey. Left wing for Chris Murray. His three splashes through. The Murray boys. Here come the Hawkeyes. Look out, Murray. Oh, yeah. Kenyon Murray, a sprinter down the middle of the court. The biggest thing I learned from my dad was probably that I'm my own player, I'm my own person. Um, there's nothing, I, people could compare us to each other, to me, like to me and Keegan or to me and my dad, but I'm my own player and um, that's what sticks out to people and what should stick out to people is that that's probably the biggest lesson he's taught me is just be your own person, honestly. I'm just playing at a high level uh, at the University of Iowa in the 19, 1990s. Uh, really grew my interest in the game of basketball and just seeing where I could go with it. Um, obviously, I didn't know exactly where I'd end up, but just him being successful at the game uh, really interests me uh, throughout middle school, high school, and uh, into college. So. He just sees the maturity in us. Obviously, he just tries not to step on our toes and get in the way of what we're doing. But he's obviously our biggest role model, our biggest encourager, our biggest fan for us. So he's just been doing a good job with that. Uh, he kind of let the reins loose once we got out of high school and just let us do our own thing. And uh, he's been a really good role model for that. So. Yeah, uh, his approach is a complete 360 from high school. High school, he was more uh, constructive and like critical and would tell things that we do wrong or try to help fix that but now he's more um, like off the table he's knows that we can fix our own mistakes uh, we have coaches around us that can help us do that so he's just kind of an observer now which I think yeah. he might enjoy a little bit more a little bit, a little bit less stress for him. Good take. If I had to use one word to describe Keen, I would probably say a hard worker just because of how he stepped up his game the last couple of years and to become the player that he is and all the different things he's worked on, the um, criticism he's, t he's taken from other people to improve his game, for, especially from this year to last year, um, is something that I'll describe him as. If I were to describe Chris play, um, I'd say he's, he's a hustler. Uh, he's a real hustler. Uh, he goes after rebounds. Um, He's a guy that if he makes a mistake, he won't make another mistake. And I just think that's one of a big attribute that he has in his game. I'd probably say one thing I'm better than Keegan at is golfing. Uh, he probably won't say that I am, but I've beaten him three or four times in a row this summer, so. One thing I'm better at than Chris, uh, hobby-wise, golf. I'm better than him at golf. He was better than me at, at golf in high school, but now I'm better than him, for sure. He's never shot in the 70s before I've shot in the 70s twice, so I have that over him. It's <laughs> funny because he said the same thing, golf. <laughs> <laughs> Personal goal is just being the best version of myself so our team can be the best version of ourselves um, and that will lead to wins and hopefully get into the NCAA tournament and just overall success for our team. Uh, just to take the team as far as we can and for me just to be um, that aggressive person off the bench, uh, someone who coach can trust on to be aggressive and score and defensively just someone he can trust to get rebounds and be able to guard all different positions.